aromatic hydrocarbons. Um, aromatic hydrocarbons are also unsaturated, but these are um, cyclic compounds. And what's really different about these guys is they do not readily undergo addition reactions. The alkenes and the alkynes undergo addition reactions fairly easily. These aromatic ones do not. The simplest aromatic um, hydrocarbon is benzene. And this is the space-filling model of benzene. And it looks kind of like an inner tube, isn't it? It's got six carbons and six hydrogens. And it's actually a flat, planar molecule, unlike the things, the um, alkanes that you're building in lab today where they're very three-dimensional. This one's flat. Um, this is a ball and stick model where the double bonds, well, the multiple bonds are not represented. This is not acceptable in terms of looking at the uh, octets on carbon because here carbon would have one two, three bonds, and we've learned that carbon has four bonds to get its complete octet. So there's double bonds missing. So this is um, one way that we sometimes draw it with alternating double and single bonds. And that would be in the line angle, it would look like this. And so sometimes we draw it that way because it's convenient to do so, but this doesn't actually represent what the structure looks like. Because if it truly had alternating double and single bonds, these double bonds would be reactive, and they are not. We've determined that experimentally. So the experimental evidence indicates that all those bonds in benzene are equivalent. They're the same. And so the alternating double single bond thing doesn't work. And so the way we describe it is that it is that these are delocalized bonds. So there is a single bond between each carbon, but then the double bond is delocalized. Instead of the electrons being shared between two carbons, they're shared across more carbons. And so um, a more accurate description of, of what this looks like is the hexagon with a circle in it. So this, you can think of this circle as being those three double bonds, but they're delocalized and they're being shared all over the ring. These are two resonance structures. The difference between the structure on the left and the structure on the right is only the position of the double bonds. Um, so we've got alternating double and single bonds, or we can alternate them this way. The actual structure is, actu is an average of these two. So we indicate resonance with a double-headed arrow, and that means that the true structure is actually between these. All of these bonds are equivalent, and in our drawings like this, we can't really represent that very well. And so this is what we've come up with. So that's a very unique situation, um, and it happens um, with certain um, cyclic compounds, unsaturated. It's not going to happen with cyclobutane or, or anything like that. It's got to have six so that it can have the alternating. And this gives it um, a special stability, which is why it doesn't undergo um, why it doesn't undergo addition reactions. So the functional group in these aromatic compounds is this aromatic ring system. And this um, this is benzene. And so what we'll see is that all these aromatic compounds have benzene in them. Any questions about those crazy bonds? They're very weird. Um, nomenclature for aromatic hydrocarbons. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that's a new section. 